So breaking news that we continue to follow now, the killing of an unarmed African-American teen arousing enough anger out of Florida to get the attention of not just federal investigators, but now a grand jury. As both the U.S. Justice Department and the FBI investigate the killing of Trayvon Martin, the state U.S. Attorney's Office says a grand jury will also be impaneled to examine that case on April the 10th. All this a day after protesters called for the arrest of a self-appointed neighborhood watch leader who allegedly shot the teen as he walked home from a convenience store after ignoring police requests to leave him alone. The alleged shooter, George Zimmerman, has not been charged and claims that he acted in self-defense, which Trayvon's father calls an insult. Um, my son was being attacked. Um, he, wasn't, he wasn't the aggressor in this, this instance, and uh, the Sanford Police Department is trying to make George Zimmerman out to be the victim. And, and the victim is, is clear, Trayvon Martin, who's dead in the grave. So many questions, not a lot of answers. NBC's Mara Schiavo Campo joins me now to talk more about this. Mara, I understand there's this new controversy surrounding something that we hear from the elongated 911 tape with the watchman. Yeah, Thomas, by now most of us have heard portions of the 911 call George Zimmerman made describing Trayvon Martin as, quote, suspicious. But did he go farther than that? After listening to the tapes more closely, some believe they can hear Zimmerman referring to the Florida teen with a racial slur. Now, we're not comfortable using that word, but it's a derogatory term for African Americans. Now, we normally wouldn't air this offensive language either, but we wanted to make sure that you could hear it so you could form your own opinion about what was said. Let's take a listen to that now. He's running. He's running. Which way is he running? Uh, down towards the uh, other entrance of the neighborhood. Okay. Which entrance is that that he's heading towards? The back entrance. <laughs> Now, we know that went by pretty fast, so what we're going to do is we're going to re-rack that audio. We'll play it for you one more time so that you can listen to it again. Let's take a second listen to that. He's running. He's running. Which way is he running? Uh, down towards the uh, other entrance of the neighborhood. Okay. Which entrance is that that he's heading towards? The back entrance. <laughs> So it's that kind of under his breath mutterance that we're referring to. Now, we did boost the audio so that you're better able to hear it. Again, it's ex unclear exactly what was being said, but some say they do hear that derogatory term and to demonstrate that Zimmerman was, in fact, racially profiling Martin when he called police. Zimmerman has maintained that he shot Martin in self-defense and his family has maintained that he is not a racist. Thomas? NBC's Mara Schiavo. Campo Mara, thanks so much.